News to your local election headquarters and over the next two days, right here on News 2 at 4 o'clock, I will be speaking to the candidates, both of them, in the first congressional district race. Elections are just a month away, hard to believe it. Katie Arrington, the Republican nominee, joins us to talk about her campaign. Katie, thanks for joining us. First of all, I bet you can't wait till election day. You gotta be tired. I am a little tired, but you know, it's it's the last push, the last 30 days, and I can do that. Yeah. If I can survive the past few months, I can take the next 30 days. That's nothing, right? Yeah, it's cake work. We're gonna talk about your campaign in a second. First, I have to ask you about uh, Nikki Haley. Uh, resigns her post, U.S. Ambassador to the United mm -hmm. Nations. Uh, some say it was a shock, but if you listen to how she spoke recently, it really isn't. No, I, I, those of us in, in the, the arena, I, yeah. we've seen this coming. Um, I think Nikki Haley has done an amazing job in the UN. I don't think that she's going to be out of the public eye. Uh, I think that she needs to take a beat, uh, get herself rebooted, and uh, I think we'll see her in the very near future. Yeah, nothing, take, nothing bad about taking a little time for yourself. Yes. Offshore drilling seems to be the hot topic in this race between you and Joe Cunningham. We have leaders crossing party lines. You said you don't support it. Some people are saying you do support it. There's a lot of misinformation out there. For the record, what's your stance on offshore drilling? I am not for offshore drilling off the coast of South Carolina for oil. I have met with the president, the vice president, senior administration uh, officials, and working through a plan with um, Congressman Tom Rice and Governor McMaster to get our state out of the into the exclusion zone. A lot what Florida got. Joe Cunningham wrote a letter that no one's going to read. Okay. I'm about getting results and getting things done. So absolutely not for offshore drilling off the coast of South Carolina. Have you, you've taught, I know you've spoken with Vice President Pence. You say yeah. you also spoke with President Trump about this and other topics as yes, well? Yes, yes. I've, I've met with the president several times uh, in the Oval Office, actually. I uh, talked about the things that, you know, I, I do the theory of uh, restraint. What are the three things that you can make better? Um, infrastructure dollars down here. We need them. Um, we need, uh, in the State House, I led that charge. Um, in the federal government, I'm going to lead it as well. Our tax dollars have been going to Washington for years. We need to get them back. We need more infrastructure. We need more more roads and more bridges. I mean, I think the past year we've learned we need more bridges. Um, those are federal dollars that need to come down. And then the other issue that's paramount, and absolutely paramount, um, I'm on the American Flood Coalition. Um, we're working to get monies to build a seawall to protect the peninsula, the hospital district. It's essential. And other areas within our coast that are, are they're at peril, so we have to do something to protect them. I've been doing that before I got into this. That's been something I've been working on for years. Biggest surprise from this campaign, something you didn't expect? N no, nothing surprises me at right. this point. Um, it, it, absolutely nothing surprises me. All right. Katie Arrington, election day, month away. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. We are out of time, but tomorrow we will speak to Democrat Joe Cunningham and get his views as well. Keep it here. News 2 at 4 continues after the break.